Hey everyone, you know how Satan deceives the whole world? Well, it's true. Here's an artist named Diamond Platinums. He is from Tanzania. He is selling out in a couple of ways. He's doing an ad for some dish soap, and he's got the sign of success 666 on his hand. It looks like he's winking as well. So selling out for some dish soap, putting the sign of success on his hand. Now he's selling some paint, and he's got the sign of success on his hand. Probably a coincidence, eh? Satan deceives the whole world. The love of money is the root of all evil. We all need money, but what is with this world? Every continent and culture, it seems like the goal in life for these celebrities is to have stacks of cash and pose with cars and mansions and pools and pop bottles of champagne and whatever, right? Like, is that really like, that brings them happiness? It's like, they're, you know, we obviously know they're not very original because they all do the same signs and symbols. Brothers and sisters, I hope and I know that you agree with me. Salvation or that on the table. Salvation, eternity with God, things that we no eye has seen, like the promises of God. They're so great. This stuff, temporary whatever, no one's guaranteed it tomorrow. Salvation is very important. His female friend is wearing the Freemason checkerboard. He's performing on the Freemason checkerboard. And I'm not making any of this up. This is what goes on in our world. This is really true. In Tanzania, the artist there, can you see how it's one language again, like the Tower of Babel days? God had to spread everyone out so they don't conspire to crash through the firmament or right? Building the Tower of Babel, biting the apple. The world is biblical. <laughs> it's not a funny situation, but this stuff is absurd. And right? Stacks of cash, Uttara Bodhi Mudra, open your third eye, meditate, yoga, blah, blah, like on and on and on. The world is so confusing with all these signs and symbols. God said, hey, believe and have faith in the finished work of our Lord Jesus Christ, his death, burial, and resurrection were all sinners. He died on the cross for our sins. We should realize and recognize that as a world. Uttara Bodhi Mudra, come on. Brothers and sisters, God bless you.